Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer, I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews, now with Windows Mixed Reality. Today we're going to do a review and show some gameplay for Super Medium VR. Super Medium VR is a free-to-play web internet VR browser on the Steam Store and the Oculus Store. Um, I'm using the Steam version. Um, it says it works for other VR headsets, but I read the community forums and it seems it only really works on the Oculus Rift. I kind of got it to work with Windows Mixed Reality, but it doesn't really work. <laughs> Let me explain. So with Windows Mixed Reality, what I actually have to do is I actually have to click on the desktop screen, start the experiences, and then it'll render on the VR headset. However, if you're doing that, you're probably just better off just using your internet browser and doing that and just enabling the uh, the 360 views, uh, the VR from your browser. It should work on Windows 10 on your, uh, the new name for Internet Explorer, <laughs> whatever the new name for that is called. I'm sorry, I can't think of it right now. Uh, there's also, you can also download a Mozilla browser and, uh, Firefox and enable the VR from there as well. Uh, I don't know if Chrome lets you do that. You might be able to download something which enables viewing VR directly from your browser. But if you have Windows Mixed Reality and you have Windows 10, you should be able to do it with the built-in web browser as long as you enabled VR view within the settings. Um, super medium kind of the benefit from this is on the Oculus Rift is that you can kind of see the, the pre-selected experiences and basically just point and click to start them, which is a lot better <laughs> than the normal experience because otherwise you're just searching the internet trying to find these different sites trying to find these different experiences and they're not always easy to find so that is the, the bad part the other bad part is that a lot of these experiences well not a lot but some of these experiences don't work at all so beware and there's just not many experiences to be honest so i i clicked on a, on almost all of them i don't think i've experienced every single one but most of them i have and they really do range in uh, in value in you know the quality. Some of these experiences I enjoyed, and other experiences I did not. So there's a sound boxing beta experience, and as y'all know, if you watch my channel, you know that I, I love sound boxing. But this version of Soundboxing is not as good as the Steam version, that's the paid version. So if anyone's playing Soundboxing here, I would say just buy the app on Steam when it's on sale. And it's a lot better. So I would recommend that over this. This is like a not, not as good version as the actual paid version. And there's also Moonrider. Moonrider is very similar to that, to uh, Soundboxing actually. They're, 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 uh, their differences are very few. Uh, and honestly, in, in this super medium or web XR, web VR platform, I would say Moonrider is probably better, it, I'm, but, uh, I'm not going to click on it just because of copyright concerns. Uh, a lot of music is copyrighted. I'll probably get a copyright claim anyways, because a lot of these have music, so, uh, but yeah, the, the quality of these different experiences just varies a lot. Some of them are good. Most of them are not very good, to be honest. So uh, be aware of that. Uh, you just not don't know what you're going to get. Uh, let's go ahead and click on something. Let, let me show you. Uh, I don't think I've clicked on Night Eyes. I'm almost fearful to click on something that I have not clicked on before. But let's go ahead, see what happens. Let's take a chance. So I'm starting the experience. And by the way, you're having the Oculus mirror view uh, from my video recording software, so in case you're wondering. And, ooh, okay, it started. 
So most of these experiences, when they start, there's usually a little bit of, of trouble. Now, it does see your motion controllers. As you can see, I have my Oculus Touch controllers right here. I don't know if we're supposed to be doing something. It says night eyes. Are we supposed to be looking for something? Oh, no, nothing here. Okay. Enough. Are we supposed to be looking for <laughs> what's going on? Um, okay. I didn't know that clicking on your joystick actually put you forward to the other. I don't know what you're supposed to be doing. Okay. okay, just click from point to point, I guess. Okay, so I don't want to spend too much time in this one experience because there's several I want to show off. So let's get out of here. We do that by holding the down the joystick. Okay, so that was one experience. That, that's actually pretty typical of these experiences. Maybe that one was a little bit better than the average one, but that's pretty, uh, it's pretty standard. Let's go ahead and click on one of the better experiences, which is A-Painter. Now we don't have very many free painting programs in VR. So this is something that's free, and as far as the free ones, this is probably one of the better ones. Um, it actually works <laughs> without too many issues. Uh, as you can see, you can change the brush size. Okay, pretty cool. Um, you can teleport around. And you can change the color, change the pattern. <laughs> okay, so... Cool, okay. But I didn't change. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting, but I don't think I changed what I wanted to change, so. Okay, so you. Ah, there it is, there it is. So you can see that it's moving while you're painting. And then when you let go, it stops. Interesting, okay. Uh, and there's more options. So. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay. So, not bad. 
So you got a couple of options. Uh, obviously, this is not a fully robust paint program. And it's missing some features that I, I think are, would be needed. Like, how do you delete? There must be a way. Is there one? Is there a delete tool somewhere? I don't see it. Anyways, yeah, uh, I probably need to spend more time with this to figure out all the functions. But so far, I, I'm not seeing other than changing the tool size, the brush size, and the brush shapes and stuff. I don't see anything else. I mean, I'm pressing everything on my touch controller. So anyways, this is what you can expect. I mean, it's free. Uh, you can teleport around. You can draw. Uh, I, honestly, we don't have many of these in VR. Um, there's only one I can think of that's also free that might be a little bit better. Uh, at least this one runs smoothly, so there's that. Anyways, let's try one more experience. Okay, so now we're going to look for a musical experience with Super Medium, with the Web XR Web VR platform. I think this is where this game really does shine. Um, just because I think it's easy for these creators to make something, upload it to VR, and just anyone with a VR headset can experience it. So this is probably the best use for the platform. Um, I'm probably going to get a copyright claim from this. So <laughs> uh, let's click on Dance Tonight, which I think is the best best one that I experienced. And let me talk about Super Medium and WebXR Web VR platform. They kind of go hand in hand together. Now, obviously, Super Medium is not a good app, especially outside the Oculus Rift. Now, it works on the Oculus Rift. With Windows Mixed Reality, like I said, it, it has problems. You actually have to click on the desktop screen to get it to work, so I'm not sure how good that is. And just from, re from reading the community dis discussions, it seems like the Valve Index and the HTC Vive have the same issues. So uh, if you're on the Oculus Rift, I guess you might as well get the Oculus Store version or the Steam version. It probably doesn't make a difference which one you choose. Uh, but a new experience has not been added since May of 2019. There's not that many experiences, and the experiences themselves really vary from good to not good at all. And there's not one experience that I experienced that I would say, wow, that's a really good, that's a great one. No, it's just, you know, good. This is a good experience. I really, I really like this one, but it's not something that I would call a great experience or a game changer, something that really... I would just highly recommend to anyone that they must experience it. It's not like that. It's good, you know, and it's free. So I do recommend it. But a lot of the other experiences just aren't very good. And you just don't know what you're going to get. Uh, a couple of them I clicked were complete duds. What I mean by that is just they, they just didn't work. Uh, one of them brought a bunch of ads to the, to the browser. So that was not good. And the quality just varies so much. Um, I tried doing an independent search uh, using Microsoft Edge to try to find these web, VR, web, XR experiences, and I couldn't find any outside of what was already included on Super Medium. So as a platform, it may be dead, it, it, or it, you know, it's still a new platform, so you don't, don't know what the future holds. It might grow in the future. For right now, it seems to be pretty stagnant and not growing all that much. Which is unfortunate, you know, with Google Daydream going, not being supported anymore, with Samsung Gear VR, you know, being phased out. It really seems like that mobile VR going down is really also affecting this mobile, open mobile VR platform. Uh, but who knows? Who knows what the future holds? I hope it grows in the future. I hope we get more experiences in the future. But for right now, we haven't had a new one added to Super Medium since May of 2019. Uh, Super Medium doesn't seem to have been updated in a long time, so at this point it looks like it might be abandoned. And even with uh, Oculus Rift, it doesn't work perfectly. Like, you'll be taken in and out of VR several times, and w even when you exit the program, it doesn't fully exit out. So if I have to rate it right now, Super Medium, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. I'd probably give the same rating to the web vr web xr platform just because you know it's pretty stagnant and there's a few good experiences but there's also several bad ones so it's a mixed bag you never never know what you're gonna get but because it's free and if you like 
VR experimental stuff. It's something I can recommend to you, but overall, it's a 5 out of 10, just because of the, of the hit and miss nature of it all. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.